Hi friends, it's Carlos Hernandez, Coldwell Banker Realty, the Hernandez Group. I just wanted to give you this quick Orange County snapshot of what's happening for the month of June, 2022. Um, so this message is for sellers. Sellers, if you're thinking about selling your home, don't put it off. If you, if you want to sell your home, now is the time to do it. And here's the reason why. Um, right now we're, we're operating in Orange County at a 67 day mark as far as absorption rates for market time on the market. Once we start to go past that, we get to 90, 120 days, 150 days, the market starts to shift a little bit and it becomes more of a, of a balance, more of a buyer's market. So I would say right now, based on the time, it would be a good time to put your home on the market if you are thinking about selling. Now, I want to give you some realistic expectations of what you're going to expect if you are a seller. It's not going to sell within the first 24 hours. It's not going to sell with 40, 50 offers on the house. Those days are in the rear view mirror. Okay, so you just have to pack a little bit more patience. You're going to get a great buyer. You're going to you're going to get an offer on the property, but it may take you a little bit of time to cultivate that buyer. And that's why it's so important to work with the right real estate agent. You see, we had a lot of real estate agents that came out of the market. Honestly, they didn't even know how to sell a house. I mean, they put it on the MLS and it sold in spite of their efforts. Right. And the agents were like, ah, I guess I'm pretty good. And the reality is there's so much more that goes into selling home. Right. It's the communication, it's the marketing, it's the exposure, it's the knowing what to say as an agent, right? And making sure that that seller gets top dollars. So that's why it's absolutely critical to align your home with the right agent to get you the price that you're looking for. So just pack a little bit more patience, but I'm telling you to do it now, and you'll see in this report why, because as we start to continue this year, we're gonna continue to see our market inventory go up. Okay, and demand is not going to go up as well. It's going to stay where it's at right now. And so with that being on the market, right, the old supply and demand, that means prices are going to be affected and more time on the market. Now, as a buyer, that doesn't mean that you're going to take full advantage of, of the market and you're going to get, you know, these 2008 deep discount prices because that's simply not going to not going to happen. Think about it this way. Sellers are in a very, very good position. They probably refinanced, right? And they'll just stay put. Uh, they have a lot of equity in the property. So what will end up happening if a seller doesn't get the price, as long as they're priced correctly and things like that, but you are gonna have sellers that are gonna enter the market thinking it was the market back in March, 2022, and they're gonna be a little bit too high. You're gonna have more canceled listings. You're gonna have more expired. So you're gonna have that segment of the market go up and sellers are just gonna pull their house on the mark, off the market. They'll throw in their towel, okay? Um, you're not gonna have a lot of desperation from sellers. So buyers, don't think in your mind that by waiting, you're gonna be in a better position as well. Buy when you're ready to buy. Uh, and sellers, I, I would tell you to sell now uh, would be a better position if you are needing to sell your home uh, as far as capturing still a fantastic market right now with 67 days on the market. So hopefully this information is helpful. Is there If there's anything that I could do to help you buy, sell, or invest in, at all in real estate, please give me a call. And I look forward to exceeding your real estate expectations. Make it a great day.